Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add live chat on Shopify, a Shopify inbox tutorial showing you how to get started with Shopify inbox, which is a completely free live chat app developed by Shopify themselves. that You can add to your Shopify store in order to converse with customers, talk to them, manage those customer conversations, build relationships, create automated messages and get insights on your channel chats that convert as well as setting up some chat automation if you would like to do that as well. That's what we're going to be breaking down here in today's video. And before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over this page here where you can start with a Shopify free trial and get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Of course, so there are many different ways to add the Shopify inbox to your online store. Uh, you can go through the Shopify app store, you can go to inbox.shopify.com, or you can find it on the Shopify inbox page. I will leave a link in the description box below to the Shopify inbox app listing, because that seems to be the easiest way to add the Shopify inbox app to your Shopify store. Uh, so all you have to do is then click add app, which I have already done and that will take you into your Shopify store login and then it will take you to this page here and of course this is the area where you can then add Shopify inbox to your online store now before we dive into the installation process and what Shopify inbox looks like I do want to also brief you on a few different things that Shopify inbox has to offer for adding live chat to your online store of course as I already mentioned in the introduction in this video you, you can easily access and customize your customer conversations it with the Shopify inbox app. This is a great way. Maybe if you have a personalized creation, maybe something like art or personalized products that you create in your online store, this can be another good way as well to manage those customers conversations. You can edit the colors on Shopify inbox as well. Uh, which is really nice just to match your overall store's look and feel and branding. This is a great way to also help convert customers. Maybe if they have just have a few questions about your store, uh, you can chat anytime, anywhere. You can also do this uh, on your mobile app or web so you can track your customer conversations. You can also send them cart actions, discount codes, and message uh, classification so you can identify things as well, which is really nice. Uh, there's a lot of built-in Shopify features features that you can see within the Shopify inbox app. Again, because it is an app developed directly through Shopify themselves, a lot of the Shopify uh, features such as orders and customer data, which I'll show you a quick example as well before we dive into the installation process, uh, as well that you can see through the Shopify inbox app. As you can see, you can chat with people for maybe even just customer support as well uh, if you want to offer that on your store. So without further ado, of course, taking a look at another quick customer example, as you can see here, this is on the Shopify help page for Shopify inbox. I'll leave a link to this um, thread as well in the description if you have any other more specific detailed things about Shopify inbox. The Shopify help center can help a bit with this app as well. Uh, as far as the different classifications and specific details, uh, one thing I wanted to show you in this video today is this section here. As you can see, this is sort of what like an example conversation would look like with Shopify inbox when people are using, using your online store messenger and chatting with you. As you can see here, you can view customer information, maybe what they've already purchased and just to verify that they've already purchased this black bag. Maybe if they're asking for uh, a personalization or something to this product, just as a quick example, uh, or if they need something else with it, or if you have any other additional product recommendations, you can also send them uh, product information uh, as well, tracking order status, uh, conversation status, customer data, all of those kind of things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually dive into adding Shopify inbox to your store. So like I already mentioned before, I will have a link in the description to the app listing. Uh, all you have to do is click add app, 
and then that will take you or it should take you once you've signed in to your Shopify store to this page here. So to get started with Shopify inbox, of course, let customers message you while they shop. You can show a chat button on your online store, customize the button and set your availability. So we're going to go ahead and click the green button here, add Shopify inbox. Then that will take you here to this page where you can add the app to your Shopify store. Now this may take a second to load, get everything in here as well. So just give it a second uh, and it will load up your Shopify inbox in your sales channels on Shopify. So it does take a little bit to fully install here as you can see the installation process. And as you can see here now on the left-hand side, we have under our sales channels, we have our online store and we also have our Shopify inbox, which really is treated almost as a, it is a sales channel uh, by Shopify's definition. So as you can see here, you have your overview, uh, saved responses, chat settings, integrations, and notifications. We'll be taking a look at a few of these different settings as well. Uh, in this tutorial for Shopify inbox. Of course, this chat is visible on your online store. So let's go ahead and refresh the online store here. So we can close out of that page here. We're going to go ahead and refresh now that we've installed the chat. And as you can see here on the right hand side, you will see this on your online store. It says chat with us. So this is the Shopify inbox app. Uh, your customers will be able to see this in the bottom right hand corner chat with us. Uh, when they go to click it, it will then come up with this little basic message here. Uh, hello, chat with us. Uh, hello, let us know if you have any specific questions or an idea of what you're looking for. Happy to make recommendations. You can have a track my order set up or your customers can write you uh, messages or you can set up a bunch of instant answers as well. So diving into the detailed uh, settings with Shopify inbox, of course, uh, you can and I would recommend that you allow notifications if you do want to get notifications for when customers actually message you so that you can go ahead and answer their responses. Now you can also set up a thing that says, hey, we're out of the office. We're no longer here to answer your questions. Come back at our business hours or something like that. You can set that up as well. Uh, maybe if you don't want to be responding to things 24 seven, I fully understand that, um, but you can turn on notifications uh, if you want to see those all the time as well, um, which would make most sense for, you know, obviously a lot of people so that you're alerted to new messages as they come in. Um, I'm not going to turn that on currently, but you know, I would recommend you do if you wanna really be using Shopify inbox for your store. So you have your open messages here. You can also view closed conversations. So closed conversations would show up here. Uh, you have assigned to me as well. So you can assign conversations. You can have things unassigned. This is great. Maybe if you have multiple staff on your online store, you can also assign different conversations, maybe to different support agents that you have or employees, things like that. You can do that within here as well. Uh, you also have, of course, unread as well. And as you can see here, uh, you also have your settings. So you can send um, a message there. Uh, this is basically just the chat section of Shopify inbox. Now, if we want to actually edit some of the other aspects of Shopify inbox, that will be here inside sales channels. This is really just the area that you're going to be managing your chats is the inbox.shopify.com. That's where you manage your Shopify's chat conversations. The actual chat settings are more so in here inside your online store dashboard. So as you can see here, we have your conversation data. So you can see your new conversations as they come in. You can see conversations that have replies, your average response times, your conversations with sales as well. Uh, one thing that Shopify likes to boast on their marketing page here is that, you know, 70% of inbox Shopify inbox conversations are with customers making a purchasing decision, which, hey, you know, that's based on their data. Uh, so something to consider when you're utilizing this tool or this app in your Shopify store. So next you have churn messages into checkouts. So you can do that and connect Shopify inbox to Instagram as well. If you want to do that, uh, if you have an Instagram store, you know, I'm not going to show you be showing that in this tutorial here today, but you can do that as well. Uh, it's a newer feature that they have available. You also have a first reply. So this is where you can go in and set up um, you know, additional apps if you want to have messages or messages for uh, Facebook or Instagram or shop chat as well. Uh, you can add these integrations or you can also view uh, additional integrations that they have for chatting uh, that work with inbox. Uh, that work within the Shopify inbox ecosystem. So maybe if you want additional add-ons, you can do that there uh, or just your online store chat. So as you can see here, we can manage our first reply. 
so what that first reply would be so as you can see here this is where you can go in and set up your hours for your days of the week that you're either open or closed um, you can add custom hours remove all hours apply the schedule to all days so right now it's like 24 7 i believe is more or less what the default is all hours for all days you can have no hours <laughs> for any day no one's talking to you on your online store or you can set up custom hours so nine to five monday through friday that's a nice little default custom hours. We're going to go ahead and save that there because uh, I think that's a pretty good little custom hours. You can set your time zones in here as well. So, if, you know, based on wherever your store is located or where your team is located uh, so that people get a good idea of your, you know, obviously your time zone makes a big difference <laughs> based on when people may expect a reply. Uh, you can see the default message that will be sent. Um, if you turn on first reply, then you will have the automated replies will say, hey, we're not currently online. You know, please send us any info that will assist you. Uh, you can edit these replies as well. Or if it's within selected hours, you know, thanks for your message. We'll be with you as soon as you can. Uh, if you prefer not to wait, we'll follow up. So a lot of these are very templated. And I would say in general, the Shopify inbox templated responses are pretty solid. So if we turn on first reply, this will give the automated uh, first reply. You can edit these replies if maybe you have like certain things that you want to say inside your automated replies. This shows you examples too, which is pretty cool within the Shopify inbox. Um, you can you know, edit this up to this minute, up to two, over 2000, just about 2000 characters. Uh, if you want to edit that as well, you can do that here uh, during selected hours. Maybe if this is something that you have your uh, customers reach out to you for specific order details, maybe inside your product descriptions, you mentioned, hey, please like send us a message to get your full order completed, something like that. Maybe if you have a uh, art pro art products, art related products that are customized, then this could make a lot of sense for you to edit those replies and say like, Hey, make sure when you send this for your first auto message could make sure, Hey, make sure you include these details in your message so that we can, you know, customize your product for you and just get the ball rolling quicker so that you're not having to send the same thing to every single customer. You can sort of automate part of that process here, uh, just by automating that section of the conversation also so that you don't have to copy paste it. It's just automatically inside your chat setup. You can also set up some instant answers as well. So currently, you can know, what is your return policy, shipping details, uh, product sizing details. These are just instant answers that when people go here, this is where the instant answers would show up. So the first one is like track my order. Uh, that's one here. So people will say, oh, enter in your order information and they can easily interact with the whole track my order setup, which is cool. Uh, additionally to that, you can also do shipping details, return policy, product sizing. Uh, you can preview them here to see like what the track of my order setup would look like. Uh, you can also set up the different look and feel. So this is where you set up your overall brand customization if you want to change the look and feel uh, of your chat settings. So as you can see here, uh, we have chat with us as the default or just this little uh, chat icon. You can do that too. Uh, we'll stick with chat with us and you can have it in the bottom right or bottom left. I like bottom right personally. That's the default. You can also change the color too. So maybe if you want to make it stand out a little bit more instead of that darker color, you could also go a little bit brighter. Uh, okay. So they actually recommend you do something different, more contrast. Uh, maybe you do something like this. Uh, so see, so they make, may make online store chat difficult for some customers. So maybe, maybe they're using, um, color, colorblind colors in there. Maybe, maybe that's part of what their, uh, section is in there for what types of colors they recommend or don't recommend you to use. That would be my guess if I had to guess there of why it's, uh, giving you those messages, but that is definitely something to consider with the overall colors, make, maybe more contrast, maybe a little darker. Okay, cool. So they kind of like, all right, that's a good color. So you can click save. And then in the online store, you go to refresh it. And we should have the other color showing up. Sometimes these things do take a second to actually be live on your store. And as you can see here now, the color is updated. So that's how you can edit the overall color to match your brand's look and feel. Uh, if you want things to look a little different, you could do 
really whatever color you want. I mean, you could still save those other colors, but it's just something to consider as far as making sure it's still somewhat more visible for all customers that visit your store. So in addition to the uh, instant answers, which are managed down here, uh, as you can see, manage your instant answers. If you have the shipping details, which we already went through, you also have quick replies. So pre-written messages to make replying quick and efficient. So this is inside your chat setup here when you're replying to people. These will pop up as quick replies that you can then click and just make it faster to communicate with your customers like greetings, um, products, a thanks or order. This just makes the overall quick replies a lot easier. You can also create your own custom quick replies too, which is cool. Uh, if you have maybe, you know, some specific things you need to customize, you can add in those quick replies too. Uh, if you have other things that you need to add and make things custom. I will say again, the standard default things that are added in here are pretty solid uh, just to, you know, just to use their templates that exist. If you need things custom, it's pretty easy to do that too. So you have your quick replies, your instant answers, and your first replies. So in addition to that, within the Shopify inbox, which we've already gone through, we have our chat settings, changing the brand customization and colors. We also have the integrations, as good as here, Instagram and Facebook as well, and the notifications. So this is important if you're making sure that you don't miss any, I would definitely, you know, advise you to turn on notifications and install the inbox app for iOS or Android to get it on your phone. If you're trying to manage your online store on the go, or you could just do it all through your desktop at the inbox.shopify.com. That's this setup over here. So you can answer your open and closed. So as you can see, this is one that's sort of closed out because I was like, oh, track the information. So there's no information, of course, for this visitor because it's myself. <laughs> it's me, myself, and I here. Uh, and you can easily, as you can see, you could reopen the conversation, assign uh, staff members to it uh, as well. A mark is unread or block the conversation. Maybe if it's just some spam, you could block people too. So that's other things you can manage within the actual uh, inbox.shopify.com separate from the inbox app. But that's another good way. That's just how you would manage your things on the Shopify inbox app. So really, that's the majority of Shopify inbox. Overall, really solid uh, chat messenger that you can add to your online store. Again, it is completely for free and it is built through Shopify. So it's developed directly through Shopify. It has those direct integrations, makes it really easy to add to your online store. And you can track a lot of additional customer details and information um, just because it's directly built through Shopify, uh, which adds a whole nother level of customization and communicating with your customers and just having better interactions overall, especially if that's what you're looking for and what you need to add in a live chat to your online store. So guys, I hope you found this Shopify inbox tutorial overview uh, helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, what are you doing? Make sure you go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify to take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Shopify inbox video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button again, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.